Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Friday night, 5 o'clock somewhere, TGIF. This is Mike from Mike's Weather Page. Going to do some more of these YouTube quickies here. Uh, I've been doing them on TikTok and TikTok and Instagram. People liking them, so still do my lives, but we're going to do a little bit more of this here as we go to 2023 short and sweet videos on the weather coming up. So let me know how you like them and talk about what's coming up. we got a little bit of action tomorrow over the weekend and then we got a bigger storm system to watch uh monday tuesday wednesday we've been talking about that a lot um let's get into things tomorrow though when you wake up tomorrow morning we're gonna already have some storms at uh, upper gulf texas louisiana this general area along the upper gulf we're just gonna have a lot of moisture out there um some of this here in the gulf is actually gonna try to make its way into florida tomorrow and these are gonna be off and on storms your best friend tomorrow is your radar because we don't know where they're going to be, you know, how, how the duration is going to be, how strong they're going to be. Nothing's too strong showed up from the Storm Prediction Center at least, um, but we still could have some thunderstorms and ruin some plans. So this is going to be a, a really tricky day tomorrow as we uh, go out through the day on Saturday. You can see tomorrow just heavy rains tomorrow afternoon, pretty much along everybody along the upper Gulf Coast. I think the south extreme parts of Florida is okay. So not a very sunny day there along the uh, upper Gulf Coast. So watch for those sneaky storms in off the Gulf. Now all this energy starts to get pulled up overnight on Saturday into Sunday, and we're going to end up with a uh, pretty distinct line of storms here moving on off northeast on Sunday, but enough that we could see some of these really start to organize possibly Sunday and uh, become quite strong here across northern Florida, southeast again. Uh, Storm Prediction Center showing this uh, dark green Mentioned in the T word, possible tornadoes. Um, so keep an eye on that. Tomorrow there'll be a new update on this. Uh, and it all clears out by tomorrow night at least. Uh, but definitely tomorrow, unfortunately, or Sunday that is. Sunday could be wet, stormy for a big chunk of the south and the east. Minus the Florida Peninsula at least. Peninsula gets there is tomorrow. Sunday, a little bit of more sunshine. The other system I've been really talking a lot about is coming up. It's Tuesday. This is a day five outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. They rarely do these day four, five, six, seven, eights. So high, high probability already we're going to see a, uh, an increased chance of storms on Tuesday, maybe even Wednesday as this thing moves off a little bit more to the east. Um, and what we got here is this. We got a big, big dip in the jet stream. And you can see this is your 500 millibar. We actually are getting a surface low develop here. Uh, and a big dip in the jet stream and anytime you get this big dip in the jet stream all this clashing moisture gets pulled up from the Gulf of Mexico and you just get a lot of instability and we're getting this a lot with this La Nina winter we're getting a lot of storms across the south and uh, this is a strong signature here that on Tuesday we can start to see some pretty big storms here across the upper Gulf and uh, some of these could last into Wednesday as this low pulls north but some of this tail like we've seen before strong squall lines could exist Wednesday, um, so we're going to keep an eye on that. Here's what it looks like on the uh, Windy app. This is your developing surface low on Tuesday morning, and basically as it develops here with that strong Gulf uh, moisture, remember the Gulf is extremely warm right now, warmer than normal, and it's fueling these storms that we're getting this time of year. And look at that, that's some heavy, intense lightning. We, we flip it on over here to um, thunderstorm activity that's some really strong signature of thunderstorm possibilities here across the gulf of mexico uh, and this is just going to brew all the way into wednesday wednesday morning here at 8 a.m um, so we could still see a strong line here wednesday morning so that means pretty much you know tuesday all the way to wednesday this whole general area right here we're going to be watching for storms and we'll see how far north it extends probably will extend north i would think um typical when we see these style springs spring style systems uh so we'll keep it on that on wednesday see how far it goes down into the south here florida and along the east coast but the big threat for now is going to be this big clump of uh, low pressure close low they're calling it a cyclone that's what a low pressure is uh but it's gonna be pulling up some gulf juice and this is uh tuesday so a couple things kind of watch you know the weekend's more of a wet stormy normal yucky day uh, for a lot and then this is more of a bigger system with potential stronger storms to, to worry about so we'll keep an eye on it right um that's what's coming so have a great weekend hope you liked it we'll see y'all maybe uh maybe i'll do one of these over the weekend if not monday for the daily brew all right bye-bye